Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you are looking for a job, you can post your resume with us. In this video, I am going to talk about what is JUnit. JUnit is a simple open source framework to write and run repeatable tests. It's an instance of the XUnit architecture for unit testing frameworks. JUnit, originally written by Eric Gama and Kent Beck, has been important in the evolution of trust driven development. Benefits Unit testing belongs to test a single unit of code which can be a single class for Java. JUnit helps us to code and test both during the development. JUnit ensures that the modification of the code will not break your system without your knowledge. So, someone has changed the code. During the build, the unit JUnit test cases will find out whether the change is proper or not. JUnit helps to leg test the legacy code automatically. Testing the legacy code manually takes a lot of time but when you have written if you have written j unit it will be really useful and displays time consuming and one more goal for writing j unit test cases you have to write test cases independently for a method you should not club the method or you should not call an integrated uh, use case so if if the method call goes outside this class you should mock it if you try to mock it you should try to write test cases only for covering this method and another test cases for this method so in it should be independent and at the unit level you should try to write j unit test cases so i have written a small function to calculate the factorial if it is minus 1 it will if it is less than 0 it will throw an illegal argument exception if it is greater than 12 it will throw illegal arg argument exception Other otherwise it will calculate properly so this is a simple method i have written lot of combinations if I pass 0 what happens if I pass 1 what happens if I pass 2 to 12 what happens and if I pass negative I am expecting an illegal argument exception and if I pass greater than 12 I am expecting illegal argument exception so these are the few combinations in order to test this method completely that means only this method I am trying to test you should also do the same thing in your application let us run this let's see whether we are getting the green bar or not yes we got the green bar so the moment you see the green bar you, you your confidence builds like anything so all the test the whatever you we have written is passed this is how you can execute JNT test cases hope this video is useful thank you and all the best